Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. So we're now up to part three, finding all these values, and most of them are in terms of y. So I've redrawn our problem over here. Here's our original triangle. Now, because we're going to be doing everything in terms of y, uh, we need to take strips vertically now. So we're looking at strips like this. All right, these strips have a thickness dx and they have a um, height, some function of x. So just like the horizontal strips had some width, some length function of y, because as you move up the y, the um, length will change. This one as well, as you move down x, the length will change. Okay, so we have some function c of x and a thickness d of x. So just by the same method, using similar triangles, I'm going to find this function c of x. So c of x, so we're doing some of the triangles of this triangle and the bigger triangle. So this small length there on top of this big length there. So cx on h equals, we're going to a distance x, equals this height, which would be a minus x, on top of the total height, which is a. Rearranging this, we would get cx equals h outside of a minus x on a, which we can simplify to h minus hx on a. So there's our function c of x we're going to be working with. So just like before, we're starting with the first moment of area, by equals the area x da. So that's the formula. We now know that da, we can the, this area da, we can write as C, cx dx. So this is the same as cx times dx. That's the same as da, which we know is cx is h minus hx on a by dx. And we have an x out the front. So that was the da component, is all this. We still have an x out the front and an integral. Now, because we're going dx, this is the thickness. We're ranging, this is moving up and down from 0 to a. So that's our integral. Solving this, so just expanding it out, we'd have hx minus hx squared on a dx, which would equal integrating this for x, we would have hx squared on 2 minus hx cubed on 3a between 0 and a. Substituting in for a, we would have a squared h on 2 minus a cubed h on 3a, which simplifies to a h, sorry, a squared h on 2 minus that a is going to cancel with that one, so giving us a squared h on 3 which simplifies to a squared h on 6. So there is our first moment of area, by. Now the next thing we can do is find our second moment of area, where iy equals the integral of a x squared da. Now all we're going to be doing is, is subbing again in for da. So dA equals C of x dx, so it's this stuff here. So we have h minus hx on a, that's by dx, so that's the same as dA. x squared out the front, this integral likewise dx, so we're looking at this thickness here, is going from 0 to a, that would fill up all this area. So the integral is from 0 to a. So expanding this out, we would have 0 to a of hx squared minus hx cubed on a dx. Integrating for x, we would have hx cubed on 3 minus hx to the power of 4 a, four, so on 4a. This is between 0 and a. Substituting in for a, we would get h a cubed on 3 minus h a to the power of 4 on 4 a simplifying this h a cubed on 3 minus h a cubed on 4 
And finally, simplifying this, we would get h, h or a cubed h on 12. And now we have find, found ix, our second moment of area. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue in the next video. We'll finish off. Hope that helps, guys.